did the chicane keep there like that yeah that is it that is it yo you lot how's man's audio on that let me hear it for myself let me hear it for myself um hello 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 can you hear me am i too low i feel like i'm low hello 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 all right let me um in the meantime between time we gonna start off this one a little bit different. What do I mean by that? We are going to first of all post a link in Discord. Right? I'll post that. Right, 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 right. Eight members online right now. We got ninety two. I think we have a hundred members in the chat now. I think we do. Hold on. Yo, yo, Ben. What going on, brother? What are you saying, broski? Yeah, I think we got 100 members, man. I think we should shoot for 200. Fuck it. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. Yo, chat, today going to be an interesting one. I ain't going to lie. Uh, definitely enjoyed last stream, hence why I'm back so early. Um, But, um... Today going to be like another episode of what's going on, you know what I'm saying? What's going on was a thing. We just cover basically like current topics. Nothing too crazy. Y'all could get involved with me. Y'all could hop on the Discord. We could chop it up. And, um, you know, just cover what's going on. It's a lot going on right now, too. So, yeah, we're going to start. Just give me a second. I right, post the Discord link. I pinned it. Make sure y'all give the video a like as well posted this pin and the discord is active so let me share this in the discord so i want to know what's going on bam and then uh yeah we're gonna start the stream officially man let's start the stream all right all right first thing first let's run the intro let's do that Run the intro. Run the intro to what's going on. It's a bit different than that. Like I said, this one's a bit, it's a bit, it's one of them ones. You know what I mean? But that's all right. That's cool. You want that intro? Twin, where have you been? Nobody knows me. All right. Run the intro. Let's get to it. Boy, what's the word, gang? I see you in the chat, bro. What's the word? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. We back, we back, we back, we back, we back. We officially started. Um, We about to cover some things, man. A lot of shit happened, man. But I want to chop it up about... You know what I'm saying? See our ones and twos, y'all thoughts on that. Um, right now, I have a list, actually. So we're going to run through the list. I don't think nobody dropped today, if I'm being honest. If they did, let me know. Um, yeah, so a couple things I always talk about, right? First thing, let's run it over there. First thing is the whole, um, let me see. Yo, I'm not lagging as much, am I, right? My shit should be Gucci now. Alright, we're gonna get into a chat. Ah, boom. So we got um the whole the whole Russia shit, right? The whole Russia shit is a manga, bro. So we're gonna tap into that real quick. Um, yeah, so the whole Russia thing, right? Let's see what's going on in Russia, man. Because I heard, matter of fact, let's do the official story. That's what they're saying. Um, Russia attack, right? Let's see what's going on in Russia, because that shit is crazy. I never thought niggas would hit up Russia, bro. Like, no one, no one fucks with Russia, bro. Like, that's insane. All right, so Moscow attack, blames West and Kaviv. What the fuck? 
Right, let's see. Let's hear what they're saying. All right. So Moscow attack Russia blames West, which would be us, America. Okay. And Kaviv, where's Kaviv? I, probably Israel, I'm guessing, for uh, jihadist massacre. Uh, okay. So top Russian officials have directly accused Ukraine and the West for being involved in the deadly Moscow concert hall attack after it was claimed by the Islamic State IS. Oh, Islamic State is IS group. IS 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 has released a video of the um autocracy, but Vladimir Putin and two close allies have claimed that the jihadists were helped by Western and Ukrainian intelligence. Ukraine has rejected Russia's lies. The scenario is all more likely because the US has warned Russia of an immediate attack 13 days later. Hmm. So they're saying some CIA thing? All right. Um, it says, uh, Russia says 139 people were killed and four were armed. Wait, hold on. No, no, Frost. Russians say 39 people were killed when four armed men burst into the, into the city hall concert Compass on Friday evening. Another 22 remain in serious condition, including two children. Damn, officials say. Four citizens of Tajikistan have appealed in court, have appeared in court, uh, accused of carrying out the massacre. Four of the suspects have been accused of aiding terrorism. Ukraine president, presidential advisor, some nigga, said the facts about the, uh, the perpetrators and the failed incompetence of the Russian security services are indisputable. Western countries have a lot of ridicules. And so they're saying that Ukraine planned this shit. All right, so we know that much, right? Let's see. Let's see what they um see how it played out. Russia attack. See that shit played out. Let's see what that shit played out, man. Oh shit. The fuck? Let me log in. I gotta log in. Huh? Ah, let me let me let me pattern some shit real quick. Hold on. Let me see I gotta log in. Logging is crazy. Um All right, bet, 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 bet. That's a Mazda, though, bro. Niggas out here booming people, bro. That's a mod team. Um, and that's low key like sus too, because don't Russia fuck with like, excuse me, don't Russia fuck with like the Saudis and shit. But then that whole Middle East shit is crazy too, because niggas in the Middle East, um, they beef each other. Because I don't think the Iranian niggas, I don't think the Iranian niggas fuck with the um the Saudis, all types of shit. But again, I know this ain't this ain't the usual um, you know what I'm saying this ain't the usual, but neither either way, we are gonna tap in and we're gonna um yeah, we're gonna see what's going on. All right, so I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I bet. So, Russia attack. So let's see what let's see what they're saying in Russia. Let's see what happens. Now have four uh, suspects who have been put in pre-trial detention. They uh, appeared in a Moscow court late uh, on Sunday. Uh, now they all appeared in sort of various states of injury. One uh, was brought in on a wheelchair, unresponsive. But they are all four facing charges of terrorism, which carry a maximum. Uh, life sentence. Three have pled guilty. We understand that the fourth, uh, who was unresponsive, was. Nah, Russia got them niggas yoked up. That's crazy. Look how. Nah. Hey, but keep it a beam though, bro. I ain't going front, bro. And look at the comment section too. Niggas is jacking them. Look at the comment section chat. Niggas is. Niggas said Putin with a heart. Nah, bro. Like, bro. Like, you kill 130-something people, bro, like, it's up, bro. Ain't no sympathy for you, nigga, like, 
It's over, bro. It's quiet for you. It's game show. We now have four uh, suspects who have been put in pre-trial detention. They uh, appeared in a Moscow court late uh, on Sunday. Uh, now, they all appeared in sort of various states of injury. One uh, was brought in on a wheelchair, unresponsive, but they are all four facing charges of terrorism, which carry a maximum uh, life sentence. Three have pled guilty. We understand that the fourth, uh, who was unresponsive, wasn't able to uh, enter a plea. They've been remanded in custody for a period of three months. It may be more than that until we see a trial actually begin. Pre-trial detention in Russia is uh, typically quite long. That nigga look like he's stressing. But keep it a beam, though. I feel like, I ain't gonna lie, they killed 139 niggas, right? I would say, hear me out, hear me out. I would say, don't kill them. Do whatever I can do to make them live 139 years if possible. Getting the best food, the best, like, let them live that shit out. Don't kill them. Or like, I'm chatting. Oh, this is the actual incident? At least 40 people have been killed in armed attack concert in Russian Hall. Here's what we know so far. The crowd had gathered to listen to musical group uh, picnic at the Torso City Hall. <laughs> His eye looks shut. It's a uh, escape again in Russian court. Uh, look at that nigga face. Look at that nigga's face. You know what time it is, though, nigga. You kill 130 people, nigga. You know what time it is. And keep it up front. Keep it above. You pussy. And I'm going to say why. You could have went to go shoot up a police station. Or, you know, or like, fuck it. Go to the clap Putin. You're going to kill innocent, you know what I'm saying? Little baby Vladimir and them. That ain't do nothing to you, nigga. That's crazy. That shit is not respected, nigga. Gangster. Fuck them niggas. And I heard that nigga, they cut off his air and fed it to him. Nigga made him eat his air. You know what I'm saying? And I heard they did that shit for like five bands US. How you crash out for five bands US? You know what I'm saying? And that's not even crashing out. That's just horrible, bro. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Killing niggas and shit. All right, nigga. He's gonna be killing niggas. All right. With that being said, um, what else we got? What else we got? We got the the Diddy shit. The Diddy shit is crazy. All right, Diddy. Let's see what Diddy's saying. He said Diddy got raided. Hear what they're saying about Diddy, bro. We know, the, we know the whole thing already, but P Diddy's homes Nick's were raided by federal agents as part of a sex trafficking probe. Here's what we know. On Monday, officials raided two of rapper Sean Combs, aka P. Diddy Holmes, one in LA and one in Miami as part of a federal sex trafficking investigation. Video footage shows Combs' sons, Justin and King, handcuffed and detained outside the Holmby Hills house. Photos from Monday's raids showed scores of heavily armed and armored officers, while the streets surrounded the homes were closed and helicopters gathered overhead. Rapper Sean Combs has faced a string of varying accusations in the past six months. However, it is unclear if the investigation is related to any of those accusers. In November, R&B singer Cassie, whose full name is Cassandra Ventura, settled a lawsuit after she claimed that she was trafficked, raped, and beaten by the rapper on many occasions over 10 years. Later that November, a woman named Joy Dickerson Neal alleged in a lawsuit Combs drugged her, sexually assaulted her, and secretly recorded the assault while she was a college student in 1991. 
By December 2023, another lawsuit alleged that Combs was accused of gang raping a 17-year-old girl in 2003. By February 2024, a male music producer accused Combs of sexually assaulting him and forcing him to sleep with prostitutes. The rap mogul has strongly denied all of the accusations against him and vowed to, quote, fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. The investigation is ongoing. Brute will keep you posted as the story develops. Nah, yo, if you think about it though, right, bro? They've been on the scene since like Tupac days. So a nigga been around for a minute. So like, and to keep it a beam, like he always said some, some freaky, like some, he like a lot of his, work, he been, he been sus for a minute, but I know this how nigga was getting down. Following breaking news right now, coming out of South Florida, Chopper 6 live right now. Take out going in. Freaky ass nigga. Of breaking news, law enforcement sources tell ABC News federal agents have seized a number of electronic devices from two properties associated with Sean Diddy Combs. This after federal agents raided two homes connected to Combs in Los Angeles and Miami. The rapper and hip-hop producer has been accused of sexual assault and trafficking in multiple civil lawsuits, all claims he denies. Of breaking news, law enforcement sources tell... Matter of fact, too, I've seen a video, right? Watch it. Like, it's like a, a good little breakdown of this shit. This shit interesting, bro. Like, it's kind of crazy. Like, you would never imagine, like, this type of shit would be going on. You know what I'm saying? This some Jeffrey Epstein shit, bro. Um, but watch this right here. Um, what's her name? They were saying, fuck, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Nigga said, hold on, hold on. This is hilarious. Nigga said, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said, nigga said, this how did he moving? This how did he moving? They said, chat. This how did he moving, guy? They said, this how did he moving? I ain't never turn myself in, do your job, bitch. Come find, come on. I pull up presidential. Yeah. I feel like Joe. Yeah. <laughs> they said, this how did he moving? They said, this how did he moving? I ain't never turn myself in, do your job, bitch. Come find, come on. Uh. I pull up presidential. I feel like Joe Biden. All my niggas know his motion. Nigga be looking like a lion. I don't know who D-Lo is, but that fuck nigga be sliding. Nah, that's crazy. Nigga said, I ain't turning myself in, nigga. Come find me. Gangsta. And y'all know, y'all know, bro. All right. Did he, did nigga is, all right. I think this tells the story. Y'all. This nigga is insane, bro. He's private jet down. They said that it was a lot of activity between Sunday and Monday. Today being Monday, Sunday being yesterday. Mm. So within that small little window of time, they said his plane flew from Sacramento to West Palm Beach, from West Palm Beach to an airport in the L.A. area. Then 9 a.m. this morning, Monday, March 25th, 9 a.m. Pacific time, they have his airplane, his private jet tracked going from that airport in the L.A. area to Antigua. So they're suspecting that he is somewhere in the Caribbean, but they're saying that they can't prove that he's on the jet because there's no like flight logs or anything like that. But come on now. Nah, did he move him? So 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 apparently like the nigga the nigga knew that the boys the feds was come onto him, right? Nah this <laughs> Man you man you doing it man you deserve it daddy you putting in that work proud of you i love you if we being honest the probability of meek mill walking away from these allegations is astronomical like they done included my boy in the freako charges with the take that take that man the same man that be calling grown man daddy i like when you like this daddy the same man that offered to take grown man on shopping sprees like yo why don't we like go shopping or some shit i mean like i paid for it i was like what the fuck this is just saying? and then you get caught in 4k wearing matching fits there's no way out of this one come on freak millie Yo, this shit is, is so crazy, bro. This shit is so insane, chat. Like, this shit is really, like, some next level shit, bro.
Then I think um what else niggas was saying? They were saying that um it's the next video. Apparently the nigga got a hitman, right? So the nigga has like a nigga that would apparently like he been he been doing this shit for so long. And the reason why he been able to get away with it is because because of this nigga right here. They saying this there's, there's there's some nigga named Fahim some shit. The nigga they call the nigga John Wick. Hold on, let me let me let me play a video about that shit. Hey guys, so the internet has been buzzing about Fahim Muhammad, Diddy's chief head of security, aka John Wick. John Wick is crazy. Now, I know some of you are wondering, why would I call him John Wick? Because in the recent lawsuit brought forward by Rodney Jones, aka Little Rod, he said that Fahim Muhammad is known to make people disappear. Now, on paper, Fahim Mohammed seems like a legit businessman, but according to Rodney Jones, he's a hitman, a.k.a. John Wick. In the lawsuit, you would read that Diddy gave specific instructions to his staff that if they were ever pulled over, I believe in Miami or California, they were to contact John Wick, a.k.a. Fahim Mohammed. An interesting fact about Fahim Mohammed. So the story on this is I heard that um nah did he do it is crazy. Yo gang, call me on Discord, bro. Um thing about this shit is that I heard that um did he did he actually like really and truly like he really had this shit like nigga had like feds in his pocket, he had politicians like the nigga was a big dog, right? But the nigga used his big dog style to do botching on activities, you feel me? So now the nigga bro is out here touching little girls, you know what I'm saying? Giving back shots to your favorite rapper. Like, shit is crazy, bro. This shit is like so insane. Like, at first, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, I ain't believing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Give homie the benefit of the doubt, right? But the more shit just happens, bro, it just proves that the nigga is just weird. Um, I want to cover one more thing on, on that Diddy shit, bro. And I'm about to get out of here. One more thing, one more thing. It was uh, something about some. Like the history, the history of it. Is, is this it right here? No, not that one. It was some shit. It was some shit breaking down the history of that shit, bro. Yeah, here it is. Tony talks about it. I bet. I think this is it right here. What's on there? Oh. Nigga said, did he do it? Did he not? That's fucking hilarious. The video, some nigga was telling about the history of that shit. What's on there? All right, let me type in something TikTok. Oh, by the way, this is where I be getting my news and shit from, man. Straight off TikTok, man. TikTok is better than the news, you heard? Um, What's on shit? This nigga right here, bro. Nigga broke it down so perfectly, bro. He pro yeah, why for that, bro? Why for that, bro? But this shit right here, the nigga broke it down so perfectly, gang. What video was it? I think it's down here. It was entirely true by rap industry. Nah, nah, where is it? Where is it? Is this shit? Is that part one, two, and three? It's crazy. Alright, this shit right here, bro. The nigga broke it down perfectly, bro. This got the Jeffrey Epstein of the music and entertainment industry. Really the new lawsuit shot. that just dropped against Diddy is massive. And it has photos, it has videos, it names names. And there's so much here that it's never going to fit into a single video. So I'm going to do a quick overview in this video. And then I'm going to do a couple of parts breaking down all the different aspects of what's come out so far. We're talking crime scenes. We're talking photo evidence of celebrities like Cuba Gooding Jr. We're talking record label executives. We're talking hidden cameras in every room of the house, getting recordings of celebrities, executives, politicians, at parties with celebrities and underage girls, with drinks being spiked, with drugs. This goes all the way back to the murder of Tupac and Biggie. We're talking about the entire rap and hip hop industry and the whole music industry at large. But to be clear, this is just opinions and speculation. These are not statements of fact. When I show sources in the background, like the court case, you should take those for just what they are. I'm not saying that all of this is necessarily real. 
So what's happened just now is that this man, Rodney Jones, who is a music producer that worked with Sean Combs, who is Diddy, he just filed this lawsuit. And he didn't just file it against Diddy, he filed against the executives at all of the companies associated and against the companies like Universal Music Group. His lawyers claim that he has secured hundreds of hours of footage and audio recordings Damn. of Diddy and his staff and his guests engaged. So did this nigga been plotting on this. He said he got hundreds of hours of security footage. I said, bro, bro has multiple parts to it. Yeah, I know, right? That's crazy, it's bro. It's serious illegal activity. It's illegal for lawyers to make these claims if they don't have reasonable belief that this evidence is legitimate and exists. They could get disbarred for making these claims if they're not true. And some of that evidence is present in this lawsuit, like when Diddy allegedly shot a man. And then the Damn. LAPD saw- Diddy killing shit? Ain't Diddy shooting niggas? That's crazy. All that room in the photo, the bathroom with all that blood, and we're on the scene for hours and no arrests were made. They went with the explanation that Diddy told his staff to give, which was it was a drive-by shooting. Diddy made it clear that his head of security, Fahim Muhammad, had the power to make people and problems disappear. This guy. And all of Diddy's staff were instructed to contact Mr. Muhammad if they were ever pulled over by the police in Miami or California. Diddy often bragged about having law enforcement under control. Although the deeper Niggas you look, the more it looks like people above him and above law enforcement had him under control. We'll go more into these cases in the detailed videos, but now the bigger picture. See, Diddy has been one of the most powerful people in the rap industry ever since the 90s when he founded Bad Boy Records. And he was only 24 when he founded it. He started his career as a non-paid intern at a &R until he was then fired in 1993 when he was 24 and founded his own label, Bad Boy Records, later that year. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, facts. I feel like, like the Epstein shit, bro, because if he, they saying that Diddy got so much dirt on niggas, bro, they're going to say, you know, the nigga committed suicide. You know what I'm saying? That's what they're going to try to say, that nigga killed himself. They're going to definitely say that because if you start exposing niggas, because look, look at even the, the, uh, the meat meal shit. Apparently, he got some shit on, he, he going to start telling on Jay-Z. So I'm like, damn, bro, if they, if they could get Diddy nigga, they could get Jay-Z, bro. That's a fact. Year. So how does a 24-year-old so they gonna kill that nigga, bro? found a massive record label on his own. Well, when you dig further, you realize it wasn't on his yeah, own. Yeah, they're gonna kill that nigga too. Davis, they're gonna kill him too. And the further into it all you dig, you realize that Clive Davis came out as gay later on, and there's a lot of rumors that him and Diddy were in a relationship throughout this time. This is gonna come up over and over and Me over. blood clock. Just by chance. Clive Davis has been running significant portions of the music industry since our parents were kids listening to music. Responsible for artists like Aretha Franklin, Alicia Keys, The Grateful Dead, then later Usher, Outkast, Pink. But back in the 60s and 70s, like Janis Joplin, Santana, Aerosmith, Pink Floyd, like, come on, read it. Jones specifically claims that they were trying to groom him to do gay stuff, which has long been the talk of the town in the rap industry by people that aren't with it. Diddy allegedly showed him a tape from a secret recording that he just happened to have of, of Jones's idol having gay sex with some white guy. And then Diddy apparently told Jones that he had engaged in gay sex with this redacted rapper and that redacted rapper and his idol, Stevie J. And apparently he also promised to make sure that Jones would win producer of the year at the Grammys if he did gay stuff on camera. Although, to be clear, what? he wasn't explicitly saying on camera, but Mr. Jones discovered that Diddy had hidden cameras in every room of his home. I'm gonna guess that Diddy didn't learn how to wire a whole house with cameras on his own. Kanye has accused Diddy of being a fed many times. Diddy's also been accused of ordering the hit on Tupac many times. And when Diddy was asked about this on a podcast, this was his response. We don't, we don't talk about things that are nonsense. We don't even entertain nonsense, my brother. So we not even gonna even go there. Niggas a youngster, body man. I appreciate you as a journalist asking. When you start digging into allegations of the CIA, the FBI, the Mossad having nah, chemicals facts, in bro, the that's music a fact, industry, you wind up at total rumors like this. Former CIA agent admits agency created gangster rap to fill private prisons by glamorizing criminality. Claims like famous hip hop lyrics of the legendary hip hop outfit NWA were even scripted by a team of psychologists and war propagandists inside the CIA, according to this former agent. 
Obviously, these are just totally rumors and conspiracy Damn. theories. No truth to this whatsoever. But it deep, leads you bro. to people like Lear Cohen, who might be the most influential person in the last hundred years of music because he ran Def Jam and made Jay-Z who he is, including Med Red Man, Method Man, DMX, Ja Rule, Ludacris. But it doesn't stop with rap music. We got Bon Jovi, Mariah Carey, Shania Twain, Elvis Costello, Ashanti, Nickelback, Slipknot, Sum 41, The Killers, Slayer. But then we've also got his protege, Julie Greenwald, that got elevated through this merger that he brokered and managed the Black Keys, Bruno Mars, Death Cab for Cutie, Jason Rantz, Kid Rock, Lupe Fiasco, Wiz Khalifa. That would be this Julie Greenwald. And then we've got Lucian Grange, the CEO of Universal Music Group. He's the one that is directly implicated and named in this lawsuit. It is alleged that he attended these parties with underage girls and with sex workers, and he knew that they were spiking drinks, et cetera, et cetera. But when you're talking about Diddy, you got to also talk about Justin Bieber, um, who was managed by Scooter Braun, along with Kanye West, Ariana Grande, Demi Lovato, et cetera. Um, Scooter Braun is a really big player in the modern music industry. We also got Psy, Carly Rae Morris, uh, Martin Garrix, Kanye West, Black Eyed Peas, David Guetta, Lil Dicky. Nah, Kanye, so nah, 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 I ain't gonna lie. My son Kanye not going. I know Kanye not going. Ain't no way, because if he did, Kanye too outspoken. Nah, I don't think Kanye going. Kanye ain't going for that. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not jacking that. I gotta see it to believe it. Back in the 90s, um, Tupac and Biggie were both coming up. And they were both talking about leaving their records that we've shown the people involved in those records already and starting their own. And Tupac was starting to speak out a little bit maybe about the state, the nature of the industry. Mm. Diddy was close in the middle of that. And there's a lot of rumors that he ordered the hit on Tupac. Diddy sort of rose to power on the power vacuum of Tupac and Biggie both l leaving the scene. That, that's and true. he has been manipulated. Yo, that's true though, bro, because I ain't gonna lie. Diddy was some background nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas just call him Puffy. But once Tupac and Biggie died, the nigga took, like, it would be like, all right, it would be like, let's say Pop Smoke died, right? And, like, his brother was to take all his music and just drop albums at the albums, get mad money off of it. I ain't gonna lie to you. As a businessman, the nigga is smart because the money he made off Biggie, he invested into other rappers and shit and, you know, kept himself afloat. So I'll give him that. But yeah, ever since Tupac and Biggie died, bro, the nigga really took off. At one point, he was trying to rap himself. You know, um, every step I take. Like, he had one, two verse in there. But then he was known for being a rapper. Biggie was, like, it was Biggie Smalls, nigga. And Biggie was, like, niggas, you know what I'm saying? It's Biggie, bro. Like, everybody in the hood loved Biggie. Biggie was a legend at the time, even when he was alive and shit. Then the East Coast, West Coast shit really got that shit jumping. So now, you know what I'm saying? Like, but niggas ain't give a fuck about no Diddy. But he made himself relevant because he kind of, I guess, took out the main niggas. And now it's like, now it's just me, which is crazy. It's smart, though, but it's crazy. And running a huge portion of the industry from the inside ever since. And this court case directly alleges with lots of evidence that he has been running a sexual blackmail <laughs> yo trap trap chill gang nigga said they definitely tried to open up Tupac Bati he wasn't he wasn't going for it so they got him out of there that's insane bro that's great scheme that entire time you got promoting chill, gang. artists that that's would engage in the sexual again, blackmail chill. scheme and then do their bidding <laughs> there because there's not just him acting alone and uh, pushing it. That part two? Did you know that the FDA just got the Jeffrey F. This nigga spitting, bro. In order to understand this lawsuit against P. Diddy, you need to understand the history of sexual blackmail. A lot of people in the comments are misunderstanding why rap music is so anti-gay. And a lot of people understand the ties of Israel and the Mossad to sexual blackmail by Epstein. But a lot of people don't realize the ties of sexual blackmail back to the invention of sexual blackmail and the Jewish mob. So if you don't know what's Wait, going huh? on, Diddy, one of the most influential... What the Jewish got to do with sexual blackmail? ...influential people in the rap industry over the last 30 years just got served this court case that alleged all kinds of crimes, including murder and drugs and prostitution, but especially having 
all of his homes wired with cameras and hosting parties with underage girls, rappers, label executives, celebrities, politicians, and collecting sexual blackmail on tons of important people. Like we're talking Jeffrey Epstein level of operation, but in the music and entertainment industries. But the thing about a court case is that we're only getting the allegations that are in that case and they're only relevant to what that defendant saw and experienced. And so the bigger picture is not filled in directly. You have to kind of understand the history of this stuff and what each thing might imply about the bigger picture. And that requires an understanding of the history of this stuff. And it's not complicated and it's a wild story. <laughs> so the FBI was founded by J. Edgar Hoover. He actually yeah. was the head of the Bureau of Investigation, the Which BOI, the before yeah, the yeah, FBI yeah. was even invented back in the 20s. Mm. And he served there for 11 years. Then they invented the FBI and he served as the head of the FBI for 37 years, totaling 48 years leading what was more or less the FBI. So we're talking like all the way from like the Great Depression through World War II into like the 60s. Like through the 60s music revolution into the 70s. Mm. All of that time period, the FBI was led by the same person. And he was one of the most corrupt government officials in all of U.S. history. And understanding the state of organized crime and of law enforcement in America is impossible if you don't know about J. Edgar Hoover. And understanding the nature of sexual blackmail is impossible if you don't know about Meyer Lansky, who was a boss in the Jewish mob back in the 30s, 20s, like, you know, like the Prohibition days and so on. Okay. Meyer Lansky, this Jewish mob boss, basically invented the concept of sexual blackmail. And he did it by sexually blackmailing J. Edgar Hoover, the guy who was explicitly supposed to be taking guys like Meyer Lansky down. The Wikipedia articles are sanitized. Oh, say word. So, I ain't gonna lie though. On some art of war shit, this is smart. But, hear me wrong, I'm not endorsing the shit at all. That shit is still fucked up. Because, it's like, if you blackmail a nigga, right? Like, all right, let's say you supposed to lock me up, right? If I got some dirt on you, if because... The only way to convict me is to bring me in front of a judge. The judge got nothing to do with us. If you come try to lock me for my dirt, if I could get dirt on you, you ain't going to bring me to the judge because that means that we both going to get arrested. So, therefore, I'm going to let you rock. So, that the J. Edgar Uber nigga took that. that me I was like, you know what? Damn, that kind of worked. So, he just used the same method I'm guessing on other niggas. Hence why he got so powerful. Because, you know, in the U.S., like, you know about that nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? That nigga was, you know... One of the niggas in history and whatnot. But, um, so it, that all that shit came from a Jewish nigga? No, nah, that, I don't want to be, oh, man. Jew, so it's from a Jewish nigga. That's crazy. But basically, Meyer Lansky had a photo of J. Edgar Hoover using his mouth on his main assistant, Clyde Tolson. Uh, Realistically, it was his boyfriend. They were a, a couple. But then, once Hoover was blackmailed, he was like, Nigga wants a body, man. Yeah, at this point, all these niggas body, man, bro. I ain't even surprised. Fuck it. But then, once Hoover was blackmailed, he was like, fuck it. How much worse could it get? And so he started hosting blackmail parties in connect collusion with these mobsters mm. and inviting all sorts of important people to these blackmail parties to collect his own blackmail. This all happened in what was called the Blue Suite at the Plaza Hotel. And it was basically a bunch of male cross-dressing orgies all caught on camera for like a decade or more. And because Hoover was already oh, blackmailed no. by the most powerful gangsters in the world, like he didn't give a shit and he just went and hosted them and everybody got blackmail on everybody. But the critical piece to understanding the gay aspect of rap music today and the whole situation back with Hoover is that at the time... Remember, Cold War, McCarthyism, like, we got to get rid of all the communists. There was what was called the Lavender Scare, which is basically just saying that they were all really worried that gay people would get blackmailed by the Soviet Union. And so it wasn't good to be gay because if you were gay, you could get blackmailed because you wouldn't want anyone to know you were gay. And so don't be gay. And so you should be ashamed of being gay. And so then the blackmail is like, you know, see, it's like a big circle of how the one creates the other, creates the other, creates the other. Yeah, now think about rap music. All the rappers are super hard and like gay people suck and then like a bunch of them are gay and they're getting blackmailed about it and so they rap more about it. Yo, what if you find out like 
your favorite rapper, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie, they was even saying Skepta was that. <laughs> nah, <laughs> not Skepta. Um, what's my name? Giggs. Giggs was hanging with Diddy, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying Hollow Man Giggs is on that, but like. He probably been to a couple of them parties. Yeah, bro. I ain't even gonna open that can of worms. That's insane. How they're hard and gay people suck and it creates this little circle. Yeah, the sexual blackmail industry learned early on back in the Cold War that it is much easier to do sexual blackmail in a culture of anti-gayness because gayness is not wildly uncommon. Lots of people are gay. But the more you can stigmatize it and make it a taboo, the more they have to hide it and the more easy it is to exploit it when you offer this taboo thing to the people that want it. Mm. And then the stronger your power over them is when you have them on film doing it, you feel? So back to our boy Diddy, who founded his record label when he was only 24 years old, mm. became one of the most successful record labels of the time. He was able to do that because he was financed and supported by his mentor. Clive Davis, who just happens to be gay and rich and Jewish, oh. just like Meyer Lansky was. And at the time, he was one of the most influential men. But hold on. If you Jew, from to my knowledge, right, Jew is just the Old Testament of the Bible. Niggas don't jack that. So, like, how you... You, you know what I'm saying? You a Batiman, but you Jewish. That don't make sense. Like, you could be from Israel, right? And then, you know what I'm saying? You just from Israel. But to say you Jew means you believe in the Torah, right? That that, that That's like saying a, a nigga is Muslim, but you know what I'm saying? But he love fucking up some bacon. Like, it just don't make sense. So how are you a fish and you a Jew? That's that's tight. He was. And at the time, he was one of the most influential men in the music industry. He'd managed all kinds of the biggest name artists that you've ever heard of. And he found this guy, Diddy, on the up and up in one of his companies, who we now know from this lawsuit and the other lawsuit filed by his ex-girlfriend, Cassie, which is horrific, disgusting, not a good read. We know that Diddy has some real effed up sexual proclivities, as well as just generally probably being at least gay or bi, one of the two. So Clive Davis finds this guy with questionable morals, questionable sexual habits, and ready to go fucking crazy haywall, hay, hay, whatever. Like he's willing to shoot people. He's willing to launder money. He's willing to do crazy drugs. He's willing to do basically anything. This is just me speculating on Clive here on his motivations, but Clive mentored Diddy and Clive brought him up and Clive elevated him to a record executive by helping him found his label, Bad Boy Records. That was Clive's move. He did that. And then Diddy, along with a lot of help from a lot of other people all, really, all around him, proceeded to do 30 years. He said, well, uh, you never know about gigs from Peckham. He probably only try to get his money, bro. Can't pass it. None of these youths, though. Facts. So how you efficient? No, <laughs> not real shit. There's That's worth crazy, of sexual bro. blackmail operations sense. within the rap industry. And promoted artists that seem to have been ensnared in it, like Usher, for example. Like Meek Mills. Hell, oh. even Justin Bieber is like directly in this storyline. And so what you wind up with is a rap industry, a music industry that is full of people that are creating the types of music that the people above them, that the people that hire them, that the people that manage them want them to make. They're all terrified of stepping on the wrong toes or getting out of line or doing what they're not supposed to for one blackmail reason or the other. And we wind up with an entire industry full of musicians that are glorifying gangs and violence and sex and drugs. I mean, think about it. There's no better way to undermine an entire population, an entire... Yo, Chad, what if you find out that young boy what, was at Diddy parties while it? Would you look at young boy the same? Let me know, let me know what y'all say in the, in the chat. If you find out that young boy, um, you know what I'm saying... <laughs> you find that niggas are treating young boy like a young boy. Would you like? W would it still hit the same? Y'all, let me know. He just got. They got a, they got a different parts. Is there part a part three? Is crazy.
Let's Did talk you know about. that the head of Diddy's security, while he was sexually blackmailing the entire rap industry, was also the exact same guy that was the head of Michael Jackson's security when he died? This is no joke. Some smart people in the comments section pointed this out to me. This is from Diddy's lawsuit. This is his head of security, Fahim Muhammad. And Mr. Combs, P. Diddy, made it clear that his head of security, Fahim Muhammad, had the power to make people and problems disappear. Diddy instructed his staff to always contact Mr. Muhammad if they were ever pulled over by the police in Miami or California. The LAPD was at this crime scene where Diddy had shot a person for hours and no arrests ever happened. It all went away. And it says here, quote, this was all thanks to Mr. Muhammad's connections with law enforcement. These are just allegations made in the case, but they say they have substantial evidence and they provide some of that evidence in photo form in this lawsuit. In addition, because he was the head of Diddy's security, he would have been privy to the fact that there were sex workers and underage girls at all of these parties and that they were spiking bottles of liquor and champagne and mixed drinks with various drugs. Rodney Jones, who's bringing this whole court case, alleges that after he was forced to drink the laced liquor, he felt lightheaded and then recalls passing out and waking up at 4 a.m. the following morning naked with a sex worker sleeping next to him. There's another time where he passed out and Diddy was in the bed too. All that just to say that the head of security- Yo, dad, this thing is alive! No! I go la. Nah, 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 nah. Bro, if too many people saying they can't be alive, bro. Fuck Alligator. <laughs> what you say? Oh, he said, oh, what? He would, uh, what? He would just be another fish. I don't really listen to bro like that. I said, um, <laughs> somebody said, did he go, what? Did he go and bring out his own pair of cups when home is again? <laughs> Bringing out your home pair of cups is crazy. He said, did he go love jail? He said, gigs in a whole joint to show, what? Show what Diddy brought out, shine and all sorts of stuff, bro. I just hope Gigs ain't go. I come on, not Hollow Man Gigs, bro. Ain't no way. Gigs himself, bro. He, Gigs can't go out like that, bro. Is aware of these things. That's their job. He would also be aware of all the different drugs that they're doing and lacing with things. Apparently, all of the employees that were around Diddy were from the butler to the chef to the housekeepers were all required to walk around with a pouch or fanny pack filled with all these different drugs so that Diddy had immediate access to whatever drugs he wanted everywhere he went. That's directly in the lawsuit. The head of security knows about that stuff. But then when you start looking up Fahim Muhammad, you quickly realize that yes, he was the head of security for Michael Jackson. This is a picture of- Hold on, see? You saying that this nigga killed MJ too? Well, I won't say he killed MJ, but hold on, no, it's hold on, it's crazy. From him testifying in court about Michael Jackson's death, and when you listen to that testimony, you discover that he was the second person on the scene. He says that when he entered the room, the doctor was there. He said, "What? Well, uh, <laughs> nah, Izzy went crazy. He said, oh, well, he loves rappers. We said, what?'" Um, he loves rappers, so he's gonna link up with Lil J, Shyrock, Wolverine. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, is it? Uh, they said did he pull the dildo lever on the wall and escape it through the back door? Twitter, now, nah, yo, send me those Twitter shit in, uh, in the Discord. He said, uh, Clive touched up Diddy so he can what hit the label. So did he repeat the cycle? Oh, and they said Clive touched up Diddy. So he can have the label. So did he repeat the cycle? Damn, that's crazy, right? Apparently trying to give CPR to what looked like a dead Michael Jackson. And then Jackson's two kids arrived in the door and were sobbing and crying. But when you look deeper, it gets even weirder. This is his bio from his investment management company called Oasis. It's a real estate investment company where it says that he founded Elite Transportation and Security Services and then he grew that company into a multi-million dollar business, which currently has several exclusive security contracts with A-list clients like Diddy. But when you look up Elite Transportation and Security Services LLC, you get a really different picture. It was founded in 2016, apparently has five official employees, and is estimated to make $248,000 a year in revenue. Mm. Multi-million dollar business? Multiple exclusive contracts? 
Then in 2019, he co-founded Oasis where this buy. Nah, nah, this nigga is the feds, chat. This nigga is the feds. He breaking that shit down word for word, bar for bar. Nah, shout out this nigga though. Bio is from, which is his real estate investment company. And they turned a $40,000 investment into a $10 million real estate portfolio. Uh, in how many years? And then the last article that comes up, there's a lot of articles about this one, is that he made news when he gave his 13-year-old son 40 acres of land for his birthday. Mm. And that 40 acres of land just so happens to be directly on the U.S.-Mexico border in San Diego County. This reporter for CBS 8 said they went and visited him there and there were boulders, trees, and the U.S.-Mexico border wall. Maybe just a weird coincidence? But by the way, he has way more than just the acres he gave to his son. He has like 191 acres on that plot or something like that. And he gave a portion of it to his son. And it just so happens to be within stone's throw distance of Tijuana. And now the two last ones. They say this thing is like the black El Chapo saying? Like, that's what he doing? He fuck with the cartel too? Are the best ones. I shit you not. I was looking up Fahim. And where did I find another article about him? On Penn State, the Wharton School. He didn't attend it as a student. He was invited as a speaker um, for this Wharton real estate entrepreneurship event, which makes perfect sense. He has a real estate investment company or whatever, but if you've been following along, you would know that the Wharton School comes up an awful lot when we're talking about intelligence agencies and people associated with the CIA and the FBI, et cetera. Just thought it was interesting that they invited him to be a perf uh, honored so speaker bro, at bro their like a CIA event. Agent? And now here's the best part. Check this out. In this is in all of his bios, by the way, but we're pointing it out now. In 2008, Fahim graduated from Sacramento State University with a bachelor's of science degree in business administration with a concentration in real estate and marketing. Okay. Do you realize what's wrong with that yet? Anything coming to mind? When did Michael Jackson die? June 25th, 2009. Jackson died from cardiac arrest caused by a propofol and benzodiazepine overdose caused by his doctor, apparently. Um, hey. Hold up. Hold the phone. Pause. Why is a dude who just graduated college last year mm. with a business and real estate degree the mm. head of security for the king of pop, for Michael Jackson, the most famous musician of all time. What's going on? Don't you think that's a little weird? Not to mention what we know about his actual skill set now, given this lawsuit. I'm sure he didn't learn that in real estate business school. So anyways, oh, just one nah, little side to yo, on this old... I can see... The Netflix series already. I can see chat. I can see it, chat. They're gonna be like, did he? Did he do it? Did he not? Right? right? Then we're gonna have a like season two. Fahim Muhammad the realtor. Question mark. Right? Then we're gonna have nah, this is tack. This is some next level. Nah, this the who this nigga right here is the feds. Gangster. Gangster. Whole crazy story about Diddy. If you haven't been following along, we're discovering that Diddy is like the Jeffrey Epstein of the rap industry, and he's been doing secret filming of sexual blackmail activities at crazy parties where he's drugging his guests. Nah, you said what? You said, uh, you said, um, nah, they said Diddy pull up. They said, uh, imagine cartel get out of jail and start linking up an industry. They better not run for the world, boss. That's a fact. Hell, no, I'm a son Carter can't go out like that, bro. Um, um then they're gonna say, uh, what? Young boy been on some nail paint and shit. I can't like see. Yo, what's good? What's good, Ian? What's the word? Nah, young boy. I ain't gonna lie. Because even how young boy beat that kid, mm, let me check. Bring in underage girls. He's been doing nails, that for like 30 face. years in the That's whole rap industry. Sus, bro. I'm cooking on some. And the thing is. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If petroleum industry if that, if is that's how you super get down, bro, invested, you know what I'm saying? If that's how you get down, just claim it, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you like Bati, if you enjoy Bati, you're a Bati man. Niggas ain't gonna judge you. You're just a Bati man.
You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Like, shout out to you and what you got going on. But don't come act like you not if you is. You feel me? That's that's the crazy part. But I ain't gonna lie. I think we about to lift up off the Diddy shit, bro. Because this, this shit making me mad. I might find out my favorite rapper is a faggot. Well, I did. Meek Mill. That's tough. Um, What else we got going on? All right. Uh, come with the Russia shit. Diddy shit. Yo, y'all heard they snitched on T-Scam? Yo, Drills. Call me, on, call me on Discord, gang. We got to talk about this. So they snitched on T-Scammer. Red Bandana. Gangster. They got paperwork on some nigga. Um... Snitch on T scam, bro. That's crazy. I heard that's why bro got like a hundred years or something. <laughs> nah. Hey, they did T scam filthy, I go lie. They get bro like a uh at least 20 years, gang. That's fucked. I see the Discord link too though. I'm gonna patent those in a second, gang. I got you. Um Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um Yeah, bro, that's mod, bro. Nigga said T scammer, red bandana. Not that he right, cause you know there's a point too where Chingston was saying that T scam right it wasn't something like that happened before, and then the whole active gang on follow them all types of shit. That's crazy, but oh let's see if I got that shit patent though. Where is it at? It's drill, something drill, something something something. They were saying, hey there it is, there it is, child, here it is, here it is. He said, um, yeah, so apparently there's paperwork on T-Scam, bro. They saying scam ratted. So what, this is Yev's recent pick of YT, what? In jail. Okay. On the wing or not, on the wing or not. Where is it at? No, I just seen it, this ain't it. What? Nah, that ain't it, that ain't it. Here we go, here we go. Y'all yeah, can see this shit, right? So apparently he's saying that uh, paperwork off Yardy, XWGB. What's that? What's WGB? Snitching on T-Scam, AGB, SJ, and Rex. He also snitched. What? He also snitched for when they attacked him for snitching. <laughs> Nah, yo, could you imagine? You get you get banged up for snitching, right? You get banged up for snitching. Oh lord, nah, that's fucking hilarious. Yo, drills, dr pull up on me, drills. So, you get banged up for for snitching, right? Then he said, "Fuck it." I'm a snitch on the time I got banged up for snitching. <laughs> nah, this thing is this thing. Is. <laughs> and, and his name Yardy. Come on, bro. That's a bad look on the Yardies, bro. Monarit in farm, my brother. In farm for that. You know we we give it up in yard, bro. Death, death or dishonor. We don't do that, bro. We don't do that. But that's crazy though, niggas. <laughs> nah, <laughs> double snitching is crazy. But well, shout out to that nigga though. That's funny. So I guess this is the paperwork on it. Um. And again, too, there's a time where niggas was accusing uh, T-Scam of snitching. Feel me? And, you know, that ain't really, I guess, work out. But that's funny as shit. Nah, that's mad funny. Um, But yeah, apparently, yeah, he snitched on. But, yo, chat, what's WGB? What set is that? I don't know what set is WGB. But yeah, man, they got banged up for, for ratting, bro. That's insane. Oh, my bro just text me something. Oh, let me see something, gang. Hold on. Damn. What's this right here, gang? Double snitching is crazy. He said, um, what's that? Di what? This how the feds found <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you. <Yeah>. No. <laughs> Oh, Twitter is crazy. Nigga said, this how the feds found Meek Mill at Diddy Crib. <laughs> the Diddler strikes again. The Diddler is crazy. The Diddler is insane. <laughs> nah, that's fucking.
fucking mind. Nigga said the diddler. No. <laughs> That's crazy, gang. Um, what else we got? That's fucking yo, chat. I gotta yo, look at this shit, bro. Um Look at this shit, chat. The um some shit happened in the in the States, bro. Some monster shit, bro. The bridge, some bridge um got collapsed. Let me show y'all. That shit is crazy. Why is it not loading? Bro, that shit is crazy, bro. That shit's kind of heartbreaking. I ain't gonna lie, bro. But we'll get the full story on that, though. Um, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I think this is it right here. This shit, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Bro, this is one of, like, you know how niggas got, like, worst fears? Bro, this is my worst. Like, imagine you on a bridge, bro. You driving. All right, fuck it. You at work or whatever. I'm saying you coming from somewhere. You had a long day and shit, right? What? Prison is northwest. Oh, so the southern, southern west too. Okay, all right, but that would make sense because since they all next to Canada and shit. But um, all right, boom. Imagine, like, oh, you doing some shit, right? You come, you, you coming from Shorty Crab or whatever you got going on, and then you on a bridge, right? Like you know what I'm saying? You gotta take the Matter of fact, the bridge ain't free either. It's you gotta pay to go on a bridge. What we can see from our vantage point, police boats. Hold on. You gotta pay to go on a bridge. That's one. Let's start. Let's start there. Right? You on a bridge, and this happens. Bro, and bro, you know how high that is. That's not like no. Yeah, you know how niggas be like, ah, right, fuck it. I'm in the situation. The bridge start falling. So if, if the bridge start falling off right here, I'm going to jump off and jump in the water and I'm going to swim to shore. Bro, a regular person is probably like this big. If even, if even that big. Bro, this jump from here to here. And mind you, you got to stop, get out your car, jump in the water. Nigga, it's going to feel like concrete. It's stunning what we can see floor, from our bro. vantage point. Police you know boats, saying? first responder boat. Oh boy, I want to talk. Stop and I. It's going to look like concrete. It's going to feel like concrete, bro. Look at that shit, bro. It's stunning what we can see from our vantage point. Police boats, first responder boats that are in the water. Sonar has picked up that there are cars in the water and they're trying uh, to rescue people who could still be inside. You can see chunks of the bridge, the key bridge that tumbled down toward the water still on the deck of that shipping container. Just look at that picture. You can see that entire span of the key bridge wow. is in the water. And there you can see Dolly, oh. that huge cargo vessel, just wedged in there right where it has been since about 1.30 a.m. this morning. So this bum ass nigga, bro. So you telling me. Vessel just. This cargo vessel nigga, right? Hold on, what? where it has been since about 1 30 a.m this, this morning right it's stunning what we can see from our vantage it's about 1 30 a.m who gave this thing his boat license mrs puffs are you driving a boat who who told this nigga he could drive the boat bro who get i want i need answers i want to know who gave this nigga his boat license it gotta be mrs puffs bro ain't no bro how you like come on gang how you do that? And he killed mad people. Niggas a bro. That nigga's a bozo, bro. How you gonna come on, bro? Nigga knocked the whole bridge. Like, first of all, too, how high is that boat? Because ain't the bridge supposed to be higher? For me? But I guess at some point the bridge yeah, because at some point the bridge the bridge gotta like start low and then like go up, right? It, it don't start like yeah, it gotta start low and go up. So Damn, I, yeah, yeah. But that's crazy, bro. Damn. That's crazy. How long is it going to take to rebuild this, man? I think right now, sir, uh, listen, we shouldn't even be having that discussion right now. 
the discussion right now should be about the people, the souls, the lives that we're trying to save. Uh, there will be a time to discuss about a bridge and how we get a bridge back up. But right now, there are people in the water that we have to get out. And that's the only thing we should Yeah, that's about. true. Fuck us up with that, nigga. How long? Nigga, fuck the bridge. We can, we can build another. We can build three more bridges. Says probably cap. What? They said that the boat power cut off. So it was drifting. They, yeah, they chatting, bro. That's definitely cap. Bridge back up. Like, look, look, look at that. Bro, but he met. Nah, bro, he could have went too. He had mass space, chat. Look at this shit. Who told him he could drive the boat, bro? Look at that shit, bro. There's mass space on the other side, bro. Look, look right here. He could have went that. Damn. Oh. Fuck. Oh my God. That's actually so sad. Look at that shit, bro. Look, he just hit it one time. And then, boom. The lights went out and then Damn. Nah, that shit get me mad, bro. I'm a... Damn, bro. Oh, nah, you right. It was drifting, though. No, no, no. Maybe you right, bro. Look. Yeah, you see, we're sliding to the side a little bit. Fuck. Nah, maybe, maybe the nigga was, I ain't gonna lie, maybe that nigga was off, was off the Henny or something, bro. Maybe they was drinking and drinking and driving. Nah, right, look, you know what's crazy about this? Look at the cars on top. To prove I'm... Break. Oh, Simpsons? Oh, to prove back I'm not bluffing. Look at the cars on top, bro. Look, 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 right? See? Cars going, going. And then, look at that shit. Look at the car, just mind their business. Regular people going home to their families. And then, boom. Quiet. Everybody dead up. That's crazy. Look at this to shit. To prove though. I'm not bluffing, watch this. Oh my god, the 59th Street Bridge. Maybe it just collapsed on its own. We can't take that chance. You always say that. I want to take a chance. Collapsed on its own. You sh You have 72 hours. To prove I'm not bluffing. Oh man. Breaking news. The France. Oh, this was like a different POV. Bro. Oh my. At the end, that shit like Armageddon or something, bro. Look at that shit, bro. Get your head skipping mini and. Hold on. Alright, you about to wrap this up, y'all. Hold on. That's crazy. Oh my god, bro. Look at that shit that boom. Everybody dead. Shit is many damn. That shit, a real nigga almost shed a tear or something. Ah, right, y'all. Back to the music. Back to the music. Enough of that. Back to the regular programming. That shit was sad, bro. What the fuck? All right, so that was what's going in episode and that. Um, it's back into music. See what y'all got in Discord. All right, so let's see what we got popping. We saying da da da. Wait, somebody ratting? Who this? Oh, on releasing? All right, say that, say that, say that. What's this right here? The Skrills double O. Who this? Drill Cappers. They say, homie, damn, they beat that nigga up. That's crazy. Look at that nigga face, chat.
They beat the brakes off that. Nah, facts. R.I.P. to all them, bro. That's crazy, bro. They beat the shit out this nigga. Don't snitch, nigga. Shit. Or right. stay on the sidewalk. Um, ah, let's tap into this right here. What's this? What's happening? Get some music. Get some music, y'all. Yeah. Hey, right, free POD, man. Free the guys, bro. Free E1, free Ad, free Ash, free Lash, free Striker, free man, free the guys, bro. Time for lockdown. You know we're still doing this, bro. Bad, live and direct, bro. Yo, Ian, broski. I need you to pattern this me, broski. Do your thing on that. You feel me? OP, uh, OPK sinners. I need you to pattern that for me, gang. Alright, free TOD, man. Free the guys, bro. Free E1, free Ant, free Ash, free Lash, free Striker, free man, free the guys, bro. Time for lockdown. You know we're still doing this, bro. Bad, live and direct, bro. Live and fucking direct. Yeah, Me and bro was creeping. We was tapped, to step for no reason. We even backed our shanks and he's breezing. When you go and you was online tweaking, then he was breezing, then he was leaking. I ain't got to think twice, just please it. Say me, I don't think twice and I beat it. Fill up the ding and let's go. Not once have I brought my phone. Free the guys till they all come home. I thought you was real, you didn't stick to the code. Shit got bro and he snitched on bro. Shake my head, cause you was the force. Ride up times when I stop me a post. Me and bro blacked out, let's go. I'm in the things you know, got the smoke out. He dropped on the floor, got his chest plate poke out. Slap two in the dots, then roll out. Just got the drop in. Now I'm on a scope out Who's that way bro Just slow down Wind on the window Shot that nose out Let man slap that cone To the cones out So rinse that thing Till it's all out The Jake say I'm a person of interest Cause he's white teeth Turned to a string vest Ain't got my neck Then I'm squeezing my index She wants to love But I want quick sex So you got big guns Then bring them Whaps on the block Then we go over there Ring them We ain't got a fake twice Just ching them It'll do me nuts Still get down big men The spit thing It holds like six Then bro But it in And I was like shit then We get jaws This nigga's hard And if he got the belly Then you'll get lit then Bro said he don't like them dots He chose the wins and I chose to stick them, leg on my tap bro, just try wig them, nose on toast, they were flinging at six then, same time that we got down here, hey dad, I was like shit then, raise your hand if you bang off your stick then, she wants to fuck, better lock this stick then, my, my, my bro's telling me rap, I hear all of that, I just want ping them, rule 16 getting down on big men, if friends are dead then they better go dig them. I just think it's tough, I'm fucking with her, alright, say no more, wait, where you from, where this nigga from chat? What ends my man from? You know, I'm stuffing that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's hard, fam. You know, it's hard. You know, it's hard still. Word. Right. What else we got going? Part of paper. Yo, part of paper videos be blocking out the streams, bro. But let's see. The stream go block off or just... I'm going to get this nigga out of here. But I know why I'm going for him and his label. Like, he like he, like he, he, like a 720 deal. They, they need everything or something. I don't know, bro. But we'll see what's up, though. You know, you, you know, you know, Potter gonna talk, so you gotta listen for real. When I was a kid, I hid guns in my bedroom. I was on the block when you were doing the egg spoon. Caught that little fucker, left him with a head wound. How's he a stepper? He ain't even got leg room. I'm head to toe, Louis, like I'm one of the Neptunes. On FaceTime to Snoop, and he's calling me nephew. Couple million deep, and I grind like the wrench dude. I know you ain't like that, who you trying to pretend to? Cartier bangles and Cartier frames. RIPs and frees, I only see them through frames. It's part of getting bigger, all of these grand pains. They smile in my face, but they been frying shade. I hopped out the coop, they enraged. I'm self made, self paid. The L plates, my broski's on L plates. That's stalemates. I ain't allowed cellmates. I'm high risk. The craziest thing about this whole thing, bro, is that man got out the mud, bro. Really, though, on the trenches, bro. He hit me full circle, bro. He started this thing now. 
is bringing in the new gen to just kill it. How it's supposed to be, bro. For real, though. When I was young, I had a dotty with two bells. If rap don't work, I know food sells. My mum and my sister only love two girls. Cause they're the only ones that I see when I do gel. You better tie your shoes up out there, ain't no game. Watch things for a week, bro, and I clock the whole game. I don't care what you get back for, you don't know, K. Got busy with my shack, cop to trade, you had no name. Yo, I fucked up my re hot the train for the files of time. You ever been in jail, felt like you running out of time. They counted me out, I just told them it's cool. Cool though, on the freeze blowing weed, I don't really play pool, bro. Roll back in style, you're the one on the real me. My show you looking pretty, but my lifestyle filthy. You get 10 for the mash, get 20 for slapping it. Told S send the bill for the weed, I'ma pattern it. Slept on pot. I don't know why I did that. I played myself. That's hard. That shit was tough. And that other nigga KD, never heard of bro, but he's hard too. I ain't going front. One of them ones. Oh my god. Here we go. Bro, weird fish on my screen, bro. So yeah, what? I think some of Potter's singles are distribution deals, which will block off the stream. Exactly. The audio old thing. Okay, yeah. That's probably like I'm like, yo, bro is in like a uh, super, super, like a, like a Diddy deal. Hopefully he not. That shit crazy. Um, what's this right here? E Doc. What? That's crazy. What you mean? What's good, yo? We back with another what's video. Happen? While everybody was enjoying a Sunday, the Lord's Day, and if you're Muslim during Ramadan, self-proclaimed New York BD. Yes, self-proclaimed. He claims he's BD from New York. There's not much proof other than that. PSB Fredo <laughs> took a little Sunday trip, a Sunday scooter ride through Sugar Hill, and while he was in Sugar Hill. He decided to pull up to a graveyard and it looked like and it sounded like he was trying to look for Edas grave site to try to be disrespectful towards that. And here's the footage from that. That's how you feel it? Where these old wildness at, bro? Like, hang on, I'm really in this shit. Like, I'm tired of niggas talking about click, click this, click, click that. Yo, should have glitch come play your playground, nigga. Where you at, bro? Come on, say. Nah, come play in your playground is crazy. And you know what's crazy about all that shit, right? Let's say niggas flock one out the window on some, on some Hassan Campbell shit, right? Shoot, shoot this nigga from upstairs. Let's say, let's say he get buying. You know what they're gonna say? He's a good youth. He wouldn't hurt nobody. Not my son. He's an angel. He how you talking? Come outside, let's play. But niggas boom him. My baby. He would never hurt a fly. Not my Denzel. Niggas be <laughs> niggas like this, bro. Gangster. Agent wise, you better not come outside, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And how I know boyfriend. Nigga, if you're gonna do a glider. What sus said? No phones on the glide, nigga. No phones on the glide. Why you got your nigga? And you recording on the gram with your Instagram name? Nah, these niggas is different. Outside, nowhere to be found, man. I ain't gonna lie, it's the same shit that got K Flock caught up too. Feel me? It's the same shit that got K, K Flock caught up, bro. Same Tag shit. Tag AJ Watts. Look, word on my mother. 
would play into this and go to his story and say this hey, what's outside you talk about today that day what's outside i don't know why niggas on the show what's outside too what's outside too word to bro what the f how does that work how does that work and, and you see the load behind me word to dot stop acting get crazy before i leave somewhere bro. and yeah there ain't much to talk nah, about here these niggas is yo, yo. I see why I why UK niggas wear baddies and shit like that, bro. Niggas a bait, bro. Came Body outside, you know what I'm saying? Pull on him, and bro walking around on a, on pets. We're like, what? Like, what hooligan have said? If you pick a pack and you don't show up, we bring you smoke to your home. Like, why you outside? Like, that's bait, bro. Next, bro. That nigga's a bait. That nigga's a bait. All right, bet. Um, what else we got going in, bro? Bozo, bro. Bo Bozo shit. Alright, Sanyanko shit. Alright. Scary neighbors call. I like. The Met Police have released yeah. this shocking Gaza. video of the moment a 15 year old was fatally stabbed. I see the B. I see the W. Street. I see the C. He died from a single stab wound, according to a post mortem. Black water, not Woody. Anyone, Be known that you know. Are you listening? Numerous times, like round there, new cut, let's go fishing. Mm. Don't step in OD park. How many times, duck down youths, ops ain't got no heart. Mm. Nothing ain't new, been like that, been like that from the start. Everyday trap, out in packs, can't have nothing to do. Bandana, blue. Three man, wrapped out yanks on bro, say that they got him bound. How many times? When he lied, when he know he ain't go through. Like please just stop. Like, please just stop. She knows the line comes first. He ain't got time for a fuck. No way, no way. And he been hitting the shot. Gotta get straight to the guap. If you think they're telling the truth, let's clear up that they're not. Now let me show you the bill. Anything is not in the field. They come to the block with phones. He says CGE? So did this is CGE too? And they seventh also? Seville's pump. You know them ones when ends is tape, but no members got drilled. You know them ones. Tagging up light and budging the band or turned that rock into stone. Rocky. How much bread have I seen? Mad guy who just came from a phone. That's mm. mad. Fuck the social media. I'd rather be rich than no. You say yeah, I can't be waiting for brilliance. Fuck it. Oh, yeah, so okay. You can't be on BWC. Never. Two car convoy or a one, two, five, two man, two shanks on each. He try run, did I make it far? Courtesy of my bro, these Zeeks. How mm. can you say that we ain't on drills? We put the crime rate up in East. BD said, hop in the thing on. Put bro, bro in the drivers. S in the past, he holding his. Mm. He thought about backing his shank, looked at me and then left his nigga. Mm. How couldn't you rip my coat? You missed that goal, that was a sitter. What? How couldn't you rip my coat? You missed that goal, that was a sitter. Two odds caught me lacking, two say they had me in the corner. Yeah. I should have got dead of that day, what a shame your bro wasn't good if it's bora. I try to line them man with five different girls. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. That was a bit Two odds caught me lacking. Two say they had me in the corner. Mm. I should have got dead of that day. What a shame your bro wasn't good if it's Bora. Mm. Try to line them man with five different girls, but the man there gotta be cautious. Their block is a bunch of nonsense, nigga. So you better hide your daughters. Man put corn in mozzies, man put corn in patties. Wow. Put Duracells in this thing. Trying to make a pagan run out of battery. Mossberg, Latex, Bally. I think poor day's gonna go and get slappy. Free young stick up, my little bros. When I put you in a baggy, your little bro got whacked in jail. I don't want to hear about no tell. You better have your running shoes on as soon as you see this show can spin. Mm. Fucking wash then jet like a fucking pilot. Right. Man, wet up a pussy on violence. Leave my red like I fucked his hymen. How could you watch and not do shit when your bro got spout? He got wetted and forced to make his way to hospital in the cab. True. One you could have finished his haircut when he got trimmed that sad. Mm. One you could have finished his haircut when he got trimmed that sad. Got trimmed that sad. Got Yanko's different. Scary me. Chat. Yanko is different.
He says like the most outlandish shit, like some shit that you never even think of saying. Yanko says it. Fucking crazy, bro. Yanko's insane, bro. Real with you guys. Dale used to hide his smile. Now it's swishy time. He uses TheraBreath anti-cavity mouthwash for 24 hours. Insane. Don't tell me these dudes think it's beef DD Osama on them. I get I guess it would make sense. Cause they, they look around the same age. Alright, let's run it back. Bro, these niggas get younger and younger, huh? Right chat? Niggas just younger and younger. Well, nigga ain't probably even start growing pubes yet. But he on, you know what I'm saying? He on he on drillings and that. That's fucking crazy. Let's run it back though. Run it back, I guess. Yo, I'm going for this. Yo, what the fuck tighten up, bro? Yeah, that's that's actually insane, bro. Like these niggas got no childhood. These niggas went from playing with toys and monster trucks to drilling niggas. Like ain't no in between. Ain't no. Let's go play outside. Let's. You know what I'm saying. Let's go play some football. Let's go throw a baseball. Let's go play catch, nigga. Just nah, drilling. That's. I said Popolito. What he patia, son? He patria? I see a green. Is that the green flag back there? Patia niggas on drill now. Hold on, let me find out. Let me hear what you. Every day, every day I think about it, right? Niggas say, yo, K-Flock, you had all that money. You threw your life away. Bro, you see how these little niggas is coming? If I see an op, I'm shooting on sight. I'm taking his life. This how they meds in, bro. Like, so if you, if you flock, you the face of this shit. You don't think niggas, how much niggas gonna wanna... Nigga, if a nigga pack you, like you... Like you top up, like a nigga, like a nigga said, yo, I pack flock, nigga, you got mad clout, nigga, you pack, you pack the biggest up, like, so that's why niggas gotta move like that, bro, like, because damn, damn, that's crazy. This generation is cooked, bro. Yo, saying MBK is crazy. I'm gonna break it down for y'all, right? For for my Aussie niggas in the chat, that's like, that's like. RFA saying OCK. OC is a prison gang, right? So they shit is bigger than like, like your little block B, right? He's saying MBK, M like Mac Baller. MBK is crazy. Because there's niggas that's MB that's like 50. Then there's niggas that's like 16 that's MB. So it's like, it's a jail shit. So niggas come home. Niggas might be other gangs too, but they still jack MB. So saying, shout out to that nigga, man. Shout out to that nigga. What do you say his name is? It's uh, what's something? Something keep clicking, keep clicking. Ah, uh, again, just keep, just keep clicking, gang. You gonna need it. That's crazy. Shout out to that nigga though. Um, what else we got going in here? Um, I think, I think we did all the sus shit already, bro. All the sus shit. You think, son? Easy dog. Uh. All right, ask. I'm gonna pack one of these for you. I'm packing this shit right here. A little, a little throwback vibe. Slap this would have been gassed if we caught us a hat trick. We done two in a day, we splashed him headshot, chest shot, one to a package. Oh, check my status, I've been there, done that. I check his status, and nothing did come back. He ain't from the rock, but I caught him in with Kai Dick, you're the apple, and you got man. I, I'm looking at bro, like, why they got an app, man? We don't cyber attack, man. And if man wanna talk about points, I'm bringing the joints, I'm posted in Baghdad. You miss just hot like Pac Man, back it, ching it, now he's a hashtag. Oh, back it, ching it, now he's a hashtag. I was looking at life twice, fourth minimum 25. All this trying to give us advice. You said fuck that we still wet my life. No so You said what? You said react to that please. Those no easy as words. Drop in Discord, broski. Um he said uh what? Sure made this after beating two M's. Oh he beat two M's? Okay, shout out to that nigga. Shit. No, you can't trap the device. Live by the knife, you gotta die by the knife. Fling on the beat, waiting for the lights. Where's the contract? Should be sponsored by Heinz. Call up on who you 
caught me in my element. I come a long way from development. I can strike, assist, piss, see, can't shoot the drag, go for the header and clip her away, telling her we're in clip. Fuck the ops, they just wanna be relevant. Between me, I K Katie Skin, I know we ching more than ten of them. You're irrelevant if you're chilling with pow. My bro give chat, but he bats it. Solo kicker, they're moving erratic. D rolls one up, he stayed in a savage. 3K 122, it'll manage. Three rats and after this backwards. Three mm. rats and after this backwards. I'm playing attack, I ain't playing defense. Mm. But I'm going in his right back, and he got left back by his friend. That's minimum 10 if I'm rolling with 10. Change the plate, so riding again. Where's mm. when I knife him again? Don't play a position, you will get yeah. benched. Sit on the fence, that don't make sense, but you know you made sense. Both waiting room. Mm. All that teeth, the whole 15. You know what I mean? His hands will repeat, it's a dirty shack, but you know it's clean. Chest shot, chest shot. Another one just saw the chest shot. Fresh out of the can, came back quite left off. See that, well, let's get left with a drench shot, juiced up. Did they give an old leg shot, head shot, nine, just give him a next one. I got locked cause the boy got sent off. CS got locked on the line with a dead spot. Section mm. 60, the twin takes the next block. And if Aggie was there, I'll make this clear. Trust me, helicopters are sent homes. Trust me, helicopters are. That when you so called fly, bow, you knew we could have end up dead. You know we had to lock that party, I bet the Barbies won't twerk there again. Both people hey. they wanna don't make us friends, but enemies, enemy is not my friend. We got buying for any affiliate, so you better mind we are walking with them. Mm. We don't care if you're chilling with slags, bitch. Beckham the corn don't bend. If both see wet him, I'll wet him again. Try come to the ends, you ain't leaving the ends. I don't wanna do see side like SI. It's my blade, you see it, I wet man. You see it, you pretty tap man. Just on my ramba, just on my foot man. Don't get cabbed or pop. I just got got and didn't know who was fishing it. We said she we glad with the dots. Brought the hand things, spot him, they were spinning it. Fuck the cops, through my block. Splash get done, keep talk to a minimum. Mm. Splash get done, keep, keep talk, talk to a minimum. minimum. So after two M's, he dropped this. Okay. Like the little backstory or whatever. You were anti clone. Okay. Estates and that. Okay, okay. I think it looks like he, he at least like five feet. But he out here splashing up niggas, man. It be the short niggas, though. Them niggas really be on hearts. They be on fuckery. What's going on? It be them niggas, bro. Um, done. All right, bet. Say no more. Say no more. Say no more. I think this one is what? Dope smoke. Eat his words. On release thing. Okay. I swear, Reyes made this. They, they, they hate me and I hate them too. Mm. Countless man's been shot and stabbed. No cap, I can name me a few. Lip mm. got done, clips got done, clips got fun and we splashed them too. Catfish gang don't lap, but pack like blacks get slapped trying to hit that shoot. Little man's gasket straight my shoe. We got countless hops and zoots, S can't rest, reps can't rest, stones was loud but we put him on mute, mm. then jump L's but we smoke him too, pass that split and we smoke him too, I see stumps all up in her bio, girls are dark cause she smokes him too, little man got dropped by God on God, I'm still gonna smoke that you, she just got sauce no Levi roots and the nigga said little man got dropped by God on oh, God, I'ma still smoke that you, that's crazy. Still pissed, they can't find no clues. Smash on pass, can't give you a chance. Start such shots like you junk or fuse. Blur them names, can't give them views. And she says no feel as a favorite tune. Mm. Wet down use for the gang is fats and they didn't even owe me back. Put wax on chats, can't wet my shank. They're mad that man, cause their bread just back. V in the wrist, still smoke on that. To splash that, you can't hold him that. Talk on sauce, are you smoking crack? Man, him eat his word when he took his shank. Wet, wet down use for the gang is fats and they didn't even owe me back. Put wax on chats, can't wet my shank. They're mad that man, cause their bread just back. V in the wrist, still smoke on that. To splash that you cause we owe them that who can sus are you smoking crap man if he eat his words and we took his shank oh, oh, oh girls wanna chill on a six we lit please come it's a one way entrance timmy got dipped like we're still in the brexit and kaylee's watch as we chef this bridging mm. oh shit i forgot to mention i see length speeds like he lost the connection little kid can't get no attention it should have been his face up on that pendant get a drop on the up let's go yo we ain't got no time for the stooling it's appalling how we melted snow bro one hop out the ride and call him no responding when he let that go forensics putting up tents and chalked and tried to warn him but we turned him close gang got fear them pricks on the road still did for my gi joseph and weren't us man then it's definitely toast four door four trying to stop man's post three board day years really on smoke was it was it me i don't know could have been me or it could have been bro chilling with them get your head back toast if you're talking pats then we're bringing it home wet down use for the gang is fats and did it even owe me back caught wax on chats got wet my shank they're mad that man could have bread just pack three in the wrist still smoke on that to splash that you can't hold him that talk on sauce are you smoking crack man him eat his word or he took his shank Wet down youth for the gang is fats and they didn't even owe me back. back. Wax on chats got wet my shank, they're mad that man could have bridges back. Three in the wrist, no smoke on that, I just rush that you cause we owe them that. Who 
cause us are you smoking crap man if he eat his words when he took his shank mm. 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 talk about us you smoking crack come on man yo chat i ain't gonna lie to you bro man's gonna go do up gym and that you get me man's gonna go pump some weights and that trying to young gang get right for the summer Ooh, about to see a nasty bit. Mm. Gotta check this out. Gotta check this out. So what? Uh, um, beef and hell don't make don't make us friends. The enemies, not even real friends. Uh, okay, this is seven years ago from NASA too. Okay, this is interesting. See what this is about, but um, beefing. Oh, so he's saying that an enemy, a op, he said an enemy of an op ain't my friend neither. So that don't mean, all right, bet. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. This like old school NASA. Okay. KVT. You know what it is. This is a message to the Greater West dog. Take your top shit ever one little video. I'm feeling a knockdown person. Nigga, that's a hello. This is seven years ago. What the SWB fuck all your HB fuck you. BT. And the 14 don't know how to react. Greater West bitches can suck on my sack. Straight out of the youth and I'm bringing it back. Then the SA and I'll be A on the track. Like my name is Latin over they call me the Casanova and I've been in Yoga Lobo. The hell is ever my shoulders, man. I thought I already told you I'm a KVT soldier. Soldier BT. Just to be fair, so I got something for like a cool kid. 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 Like a Oh, he did. See, see, I. Again, we gonna talk about. It. This is a prime example. This is perfect. I'm gonna tell y'all why. This, this actually perfect. I'm glad y'all sent me this. I'm gonna tell you why. Mind you, this we know NASA now. This was NASA seven years ago. KVT, you should be 3T, you know me, that's another gonna hold a dancer from the street. That's another I don't know the meaning of the feet. Three T on top, man. We never can be beat three T on top. Don't allow me to repeat three T, three T, screaming three fucking teeth like bleh. This was NASA seven years ago, right? So right now he rapping like a nigga from 21 district right now. This our this our niggas from 21 district sound in my head. Look at that. That looks crazy. Look at that. That's Lil Nasa, bro. Head's still big as shit, though. But, nigga, look at that. That na That's a young, that's a youngin. Feel me? Some been outside. Right? Now, let's talk about Nasa now. Let's talk about Nasa now. Let's talk about NASA now. That was NASA back then, right? Watch this. So that was NASA then? Now we got NASA now. Now we got NASA now. Right? That was old school NASA. That was old school NASA, right? Now we got NASA now. CCTV coming. Aye. Ain't never been touched. Ten toes, that's not too much. Still, I'm a dip that clutch. Regardless, any friend of the op is a target. I'm trying to turn them boys into captain. Turn their kids to a button. Put the blame where it's hard is. Our chef man down in front of his daughter. Come on, man. That's NASA now. So you see how? So when I give critique to 21, I'm not hating on 21. I'm just saying, I believe in y'all. Y'all got so much potential. We seen old NASA, new NASA. 
21, y'all got to evolve too, bro. Because the storyline is there, to be honest. Y'all the big ops for real. You feel me? 2-7 wouldn't be shit without y'all, musically at least. So y'all the part of that story too. But just be better at portraying that side of the story, man. And then y'all got it. I'm not hating on y'all. I got nothing against y'all niggas, man. But the music is just absolutely garbage. It's trash. But it has potential. All right. Back to your Discord. We're all going for Discord. What y'all saying? Um, I know what this. Yeah, that's what I just want. All right, chat. I'm not going to lie, man. Wait, wait to rest this. You know what's this? Huh? What's this one? Sully14 and JM's first song. Really? This is interesting. Let's see what this is about. Hold on. So, th see, so we got NASA first song. And this is Sully and 14 and J. Okay. This is interesting. I bet. You know, a little bitch. Shut the fuck up, you black motherfucker. Huh. MF14. God damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on. Why are you dissing? So, NASA been a big out for real. But not saying you to the scene. This day for okay. That's another little bitch. Shut the fuck up, you black motherfucker. Huh. And the 14. Yeah. Manny County 2 double seven oh. The uh, beat is crazy too. West. Fuck KBT. Fuck UTB. And fuck free T. Punk ass motherfuckers. Oh. Shout out to all the kisses to the in the West. But here's the real one. Yo, it's Big Cell, I'm rapping like it's Christmas You can't miss this, 3D is on the fucking hit list In the West, next time you walk past, get your ass bashed So go ahead and grab your gas mask Cause we're bringing smoke, no jokes You've been told folks who were so close Singing in the West from cold ropes UTB, who the fuck you claiming, bro? The United Tongan brothers must be real ashamed of y'all mm. It's the new disc, passing over NASA Nova Cause you fuck 13 year olds doesn't mean you're a Casanova It takes the virginity, are you kidding me? I'm draining energy from enemies so they can the cemetery. Uh. UTV gave ET and three testicles. Who you stepping to? Show your face so we can wreck your food. We flick pricks real quick, kid. You ain't shit. We came to brawl, motherfuckers. This is not funny. To tips, bitch. And if had you running camera matter, I was keen to splatter and shatter. Fuck Liverpool to Parramatta. It doesn't matter if that boy is knocked out, G. You call yourselves a bubble hood, then why leave him in me on me? Smashing and bashing on this fat boy's head while you're crashing and dashing from the area of NF. Step up now, don't step later. KBT. This nigga's first song is still tougher than anything 21 job. <laughs> Me and Jay's verse. I'm packed, popping back, got you feeling sad. But not only in a wish, who's making seats town look bad? Who's coming out now, cause you know G dubs the click to be. Joining up with Southwest, cause you can't stand on your own two feet. It's okay, we ain't scared, we don't really give a fuck. It's kind of funny watching all you faggots suffer losses. No. Now it's off to the next station. Don't you worry, we'll be waiting. I know that you won't come, but we'll be patient. I'll be HKBT, 3T, and UTV. Ain't got nothing on G dubs to shut your ass and take a seat. That's an over said he didn't know the kid probably didn't, but I know for sure that Patrick Long he did. Ah, on the net talking shit, claiming like he's banging. But I saw he was one of them that left that faggot hanging. So don't play dumb and act as if you didn't know. Nope. That's what happens when you fuck with the two double seven. No, nope. Greater West is on top. Get that in your fucking skull. And if you ain't with it, then your West has gotta fucking go. Hey, Greater West is on top. Put that in your fucking skull. Okay, I bet. Yo, chat. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. Nigga, my boogie, might get up out of here. But that was interesting, though. But it just proved my point exactly. Um, is it Stephanie or Stefan? I, I reacted to that one already, bro. Uh, that plugged in. I did it already. Um, in the previous uh lives. But that's interesting. All right, I gotta play this one for my dog right here. Damn, I'm trying to leave, but it's like I just keep dropping some fire shit in here. Let me see. I think I wrecked this one already, I think. Did I? Cause he's already been bored. So much juice on my Viking sword. Helicopter pitch and my pizza flight like me right now. He's high in the sky. What? That nigga's on cloud nine. You're playing your part, give me bugs online. Be it ain't put none of my friends in your knife. 80% of my blocks in jail. Free my brother. Oh, nah. I haven't bumped this yet. I think I, I bumped his... Uh, Yo, Ian, 
pattern is plugged in for me. I mean, it's next up. I, I, I ain't bumped this here. So I'm doing this. That track from um, my boy, my boy Joe TV. And then I think that might be it, yo. Yo, the TikTok got all the reactions, though. All the reactions is like breaking down and shit. So y'all can go deep that. My niggas ran up 23 hours, I just sent him 20 freeze in a melt. Attack him, they don't defend that wall. If I had spinning yeah, a leak in a drink for the gyms, I'm hitting the soul. No, I don't need the whole back to ride. All it takes is two man in a bike. Three double load, patrol in a bike. If you get bucked, better say night night. He was seen as the active type. He still left him fighting for his life. Okay. Getting older, must have lost your mind. If you think that we only brought our knives. My nigga M1 put six in the fours. He said, show, show, I'm ready for war. Five for a hot boy and live, one for the life. He didn't want to be back banging his door, but it's got to feel safe in a beef uh -huh. up pause. Man, 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 step for the cause. So many parts on broski ZK. Someone give him a yeah, round of applause. Yeah. Give him verbal again now. Why? Cause he's already been bored. So much juice on my Viking sword. Helicopter pitched him up, he took flight like me right now. He's high in the sky. What? Uh. That nigga's on cloud nine. You're playing your part, give me verbs online. Be it ain't put none of my friends in your knife. 80% of my blocks in jail. Free my brothers, them campsite living and free all the GG sitting in folks. My niggas banned up 23 hours. I just sent him 23s uh. in a man. Attacking, they don't defend that well. If I had spinning and making a drink for the gyms, I'm hitting them souls. Tryna do it like bro. Young as fuck, and he's got them cunt for talking. That's town to town, going round and round and back to the town, and there ain't no stopping. Jack, we take them boxes. No losses, all profit. Out of her and the life I'm living, I couldn't tell you which one's more losses. Mm. Playing clothes, onto the G's, there's things on we can't live, no stop. On for the dots, caught and on tots, big three liter gang stop. I took that grub, all prof, no loss, cause I need more dingers and guns for the push. She asked me what is the point of us, of all I care about is money and pop. Mom says, son, you're losing a plot. Police come more than usual guests. They say it was man who got down. No evidence, intelligence suggests. I'll fling it in S for the S, no stress. Like, fuck it, I'm on the wall instead. Every passenger's got them, man. Yeah. Like, trust me, you don't really want to be next. You don't. They're upset. Cause it was funny that he was the cheekiest. This war's never ending, no. We ain't got time to be doing no reasoning. Mm. Beef gets pampered, season it. She's stubborn, so disobedient. Uh. At first, she came so shy, but little did I know that she was the freakiest. 80% of my blocks in jail. Free my brothers, them temps I live in, and free all the GG sitting in front. My niggas banned up 23 hours, I just sent him 23s uh, in a melt. Attacking, they don't defend that well. If I had spinning and making a drink for the jibs, I'm hitting them souls. Tryna do it like bro, young as fuck, and he's got them cunts for talking. That town to town, going round and round, and back to the town, and they ain't no stopping. Jack, we take them boxes, uh, no losses, all profit. I Out of her and the life I'm living, I couldn't tell you which one's more toxic. Mm. Nah, 80% of the block being in jail is crazy. It's not ugly, bro. I'm not tweaking, bro. Come on, bro. Fix up, fix up. All right. What we got? Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, gotta give this credit for my boy, man. Gotta give some credit. Why the fuck am I so stuffy, bro? Uh-uh. Move, move. Researchers claim that social media is uh, being used increasingly by gangs to provoke each other and could be responsible for a rise in violence. The social media Catch 22 told Sky News that videos and pictures posted online can intensify the rivalries in ways not experienced by previous generations. Let me, let me tell you how my animals move. Oh. Step in a car, design a shoe, done it in Canada goose. Oh, and these nicks ain't touched me ever. No, but Board up their orders too. Mm. Anything up, man, drill it. Oh, man, fish it. Haul them loose. Crime scenes, we done many. Plus, SA way too chefy. Anytime the ox mate snaps me, M and a twin try lurk round Kelly. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Flash, flash, man, down, that's blood from many. We came through and them boy weren't ready. Step for the kill, don't bring that celly. Same mish mash, but the stacks on empty. Got nags like fish, got metro. Shoot that nigga if bro don't trust. Slow down, baby, or screw me. Trying on my hoodie, put it down, love. Smoking on dog or cookie. I see man stuck you in shotgun bus. You get got, then you run out a lot. Brought down plenty of each. I distribute guns at the same way President Trump distributing his speech. That's heady. Me and team would have been rich if you ever had a run that's clean. But for years, we was doing up jail. Oh, shit. That's hundreds of weeks. That's all for drugging and violence. Up on the hood, that's trident. Things in the kitchen, that's science. Trap phones full up with clients. And the ops can't tell me about riding. I had a whole block smelling like tires. And I know what it feels like to be dead broke. I scraped the fuck out of the pirates. And I heard a whole of the sirens. I didn't talk about pressure. But it's me that applied it. I put skangs in a block down. 
I still get it in a dance. I couldn't give a fuck about ones and senses. I circled it up like too many times. Now the gang just restless. My phone done a one last night. I just spent it. Cause these weapons still part of expenses. I'm still stuck in the trenches. Been locked in a room with weights and benches. My trap phone still bench press. Spend it on teeth and we ain't even gotta go through. Drilling, trapping, Olympic chinging. Name it up block ain't binning. Anything green get bun. Hit anyone except kids and women. Rainbow's twinning. On a late night trying to catch man slipping. Go home with my black blade dripping. Gem man run. Shit, I pray that I catch one tripping. Chef man down on Michelin star. Tools in the ride like a fix in a car. Who's got a problem? No blocking Tottenham. That's more drilling. Than ours. I can get man down with a team, or I can ride alone. Leave my house with my keys, Rambo tucked in a like a phone. Always date than a raid at my mum's house. I can tell that she ain't impressed. I swear down, I really hate these feds. Must think I'm dumb to have this gun and stay at the same address. They couldn't rate me less. DC vibes, I read my rhymes, told him not to waste his breath. Read up on a G pack. All of these cells that I hit to the beat. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, this is where RV was in the good conversation, bro. This is when RV was really in the GOAT conversation for real. Know the vibes ready, man. Fuck with y'all niggas, man. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's all love. Next stream. Uh, I'm going to post in Discord when. But for as of right now, man, I'm about to get up out of here. Love. Burn out snow chest. Good night. All that good shit, man. I'm out of here, man. Love, man. We're man, danger. I appreciate y'all fucking me, man. Check out the TikTok, too. We'll pre that. Real Man Danger clips on TikTok. And we out of here, man. Love, 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 love.